Karen Abgarovic Kachanov, born May 21, 1996, is a Russian-Armenian professional tennis player. Kachanov has won six ADP Tour singles titles, including a Masters 1000 title at the 2018 Paris Masters, has claimed an Olympic silver medal at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, and has reached two major semifinals at the 2022 US Open and 2023 Australian Open. He has also won one doubles Masters 1000 title at the 2023 Madrid Open partnering Andre Rublev. He achieved his career-high singles ranking of world number 8 on July 15, 2019. He also has a career-high ranking of number 53 in doubles achieved on January 29, 2024. Early life and background Kachanov started playing tennis at the age of 3 in kindergarten when his parents put him into the tennis group. His father Abgar, an Armenian from Yerevan, played volleyball before studying medicine, while his mother, Natalia, a Russian, also studied medicine. Kachanov's maternal grandfather was also half-Armenian. Despite having been born in Russia, Kachanov tweeted, I always say that I have Armenian roots. He has a sister and a brother. His idols growing up were Marat Safin and Juan Martín del Potro, and favorite sports teams are Real Madrid and the Miami Heat. He decided to become a professional player at 12. After Kachanov turned 15, he moved to Split, Croatia, where he trained under veteran Martic, Goran Ivanishevich's former coach. Later, he moved to Barcelona and was coached by Gallo Blanco. Junior career Kachanov won the under-18 European Championship title in Switzerland in July 2013. Together with Andre Rublev, he won a silver medal in doubles at the 2014 Summer Youth Olympics. They lost in the final to Brazilian players Orlando Luz and Marcelo Zorman. Professional career 2013-15, Davis Cup debut, first future and challenger title still is under 18, Kachanov made his ITF circuit debut at the $15,000 event in Russia, losing his first match against compatriot Alexei Vatutin. In September of the following year, he got a wild card for his first ADP tour participation at the St. Petersburg Open. There he recorded his first win by defeating Victor Henescu in the first round. He then faced Lucas Russell, but lost in straight sets. A month later, he got another wild card for the Kremlin Cup. Things got even better there, as he defeated Albert Ramos Vinolas and top 30 Yanko Tipsarevich. In the next round, he lost to Ivo Karlovich. The following week, he made his debut for Russia at the Davis Cup, and at age 17 years and 157 days, he became the youngest Russian tennis player in the Pro Series, surpassing Mikhail Yuzhny. There, he defeated Dean O'Brien of South Africa to help Russia advance in the 2013 Davis Cup Europe slash Africa Zone Group I. He finished the season by playing at the two challengers, reaching the quarterfinal in Geneva and then the first round in Helsinki. After a slow start at the Chennai Open and two lower ITF tournaments, Kachanov then played at the Davis Cup. He lost to Jerzy Janowicz of Poland in the first round of the 2014 Davis Cup Europe slash Africa Zone Group I. He then continued with no success at one ITF event and challenger events in Kazakhstan. However, he then made his Masters debut, after receiving a wildcard entry to the 2014 Miami Open, but lost in the first round to Daniel Jimeno Traver. In August, he achieved his first significant result, winning his first ITF title at the $15,000 event in Kaohsiung. Two weeks later, he won another ITF title at the $15,000 event in Mulhouse. For the second year in a row, he got a wild card for the Kremlin Cup, but again lost in the first round. Despite playing at a few ATP tour events in previous years, in 2015 Kachanov played mostly at ITF and Challenger tournaments. In the first half of the year, he won $2 10K 15K events in France, both in March. In April, he reached the semi final and won the title at the $15,000 events in Uzbekistan. After that, at the Challengers, in June, he advanced to the quarterfinal in Fergana and then the semifinal in Marburg. His next step was Wimbledon, in his first Grand Slam qualification appearance. He lost in the first round of qualifications. Later, at the U.S. Open, he also failed to qualify for the main draw, 
this time losing in the second round of qualifications. In mid-July, he faced Pablo Andujar in the second round of the 2015 Davis Cup Europe-Africa Zone Group I. He lost that match in three sets. In September, Kachanov won his first ADP Challenger Tour title in Istanbul, where he was unseated. In the final he defeated top seed Sergei Stakovsky. He followed up this performance and finished the year with four consecutive Challenger quarterfinals in Mons, Rennes, Brest and Mouilleron Le Captif. 2016, first ADP title, major debut Kachanov had a slow start in 2016 with only a first round at the Chennai Open and the final stage of Australian Open qualifications, as well as failing to reach the main draw at Open Sud de France and Open 13. His following matches were on the Challenger Tour, making it to the quarterfinal in Cherbourg and later the final of Jonkoping and the quarterfinal in Kazan. He then entered the qualifications for Monte Carlo as his first Clay Masters 1000 appearance. He lost to Taro Daniel in the first round. The following week he qualified for the Barcelona Open, beating Ramkumar Ramanathan and Marco Trangeliti. In his first round match he came back from a set down to beat Ayaj Badene. In the second round he beat fifth seed Roberto Bautista Agut, also in three sets. He eventually lost in the third round to the 11th seed Alexander Dolbopolov. After that he played at the Istanbul Open as a wildcard player. In his first match, he beat Ayaj Badene for the second time in the month. In the following round, he lost to Albert Ramos Vinolas, despite winning the first set. He then at Challengers reached the quarterfinal in Karshi and won the title in Samarkand the following week. Playing in the qualification of the French Open, Kachanov completed his appearances at all four Grand Slams, but with no qualifications into the main draw. Two Challenger semifinals in Prostajov and Moscow followed, as well as another loss in the qualifications of Wimbledon. In July, at the Kitzbühel Open, he defeated Filippo Volandri and Philip Kohlschreiber to reach his first ADP Tour quarterfinal since the 2013 Kremlin Cup, before losing to Dusan Lajovic. At the U.S. Open, he made his main draw debut after passing the qualifications. In the first round he recorded his first Grand Slam win over Thomas Fabiano, but lost in the second round to Kei Nishikori. After that, he lost in the first round of the St. Petersburg Open to Alexander Zverev. However, he progressed further the following week at the 2016 Chengdu Open. He defeated Joao Souza, Adrian Manorino, Feliciano Lopez and Victor Troiki to reach his first ADP Tour final. By reaching an ATP singles final, Kachanov became the first Russian in an ATP Tour final since Mikhail Yuzhny, who beat David Ferrer in the final at the 2013 Valencia Open 500. Kachanov won his first ADP tournament there, beating Albert Ramos Vinolas in three sets. He finished the year with his first ADP 500 quarterfinal run at the Vienna Open, where he recorded wins over Andreas Seppi and Nicolas Basilashvili, before Ivo Karlovic defeated him. 2017, first top 10 win, first major fourth round thanks to big progress in the past, he was now able to avoid qualifications. He started the year with a win at the Qatar Open, but then lost to Ivo Karlovic in two tie breaks. He performed no better at the following Auckland Open, losing in the first round to Yen Sun Liu. He then made his main draw debut at the Australian Open. His first opponent was Adrian Menorino, whom Kachanov defeated in four sets. Against Jack Sock in the following round, he attempted to reach his first Grand Slam third round, but without success. His next step was participating at the Davis Cup against Serbia in the World Group. He lost his match against Viktor Troiki in five sets. Losses then continued for the next four tournaments, Open Sud de France, Rotterdam Open, Open 13 and Dubai Championships. At the Indian Wells, he passed the first round after defeating Tommy Robredo. In the following round, he lost to David Goffin. In late April, he reached his first quarterfinal of the year at the ATP 500 Barcelona. There he defeated Tomasz Bellucci, Pablo Cuevas and top 10 David Goffin before losing to Horacio Zeballos. 
A month later he advanced to another quarter-final at the Lion Open. He followed up this win with another great performance at the French Open. Wins over Nicholas Jerry and top 30 players, Tomas Burdick and John Isner, brought him to the fourth round at a Grand Slam for the first time in his career. He failed to reach his first Grand Slam quarterfinal, losing to Andy Murray. He continued with good performances, reaching the semi-final of the Halley Open. There he achieved his first win on grass over Gillis Simon and then recorded his second career top 10 win after defeating Kei Nishikori. He lost to Roger Federer and failed to reach the final. This result ensured him a first Grand Slam seed place at the following Grand Slam at Wimbledon. There, he also had another great result, reaching his first third round, after wins over Andrei Kuznetsov and Tiago Montero. He then lost to Rafael Nadal. His successful journey then continued with two consecutive quarterfinals at the Bastad Open and the Hamburg Open. However, he then started to struggle with form. He was eliminated in the first round at both the Canadian Open and the U.S. Open, but reached the third round of the Cincinnati Open. In September he played in the Davis Cup for the second time in a year. He played against Hungarian players, winning against Attila Balish and losing to Martin Fuxovics. He then went to China, reaching the second round of the Chengdu Open and the China Open and losing in the first round of the Shanghai Masters. He then returned to Europe, but still with no success, with only first rounds of the Vienna Open and the Paris Masts. He finished the year with his debut at the next-gen ATP Finals. He overcame Jared Donaldson, but lost to Daniil Medvedev and Borna Chorich, so failed to pass the round-robin group. 2018, first Masters 1000 title Kachanov started the year at the Auckland Open, reaching the quarterfinal after wins over Yuichi Sugita and Pablo Cuevas, but then lost to Juan Martín del Potro. Next, he participated in the Australian Open, where he lost to Del Potro in the second round. In February he first reached the quarterfinal of Open Sud de France, followed up with only a first round at the Rotterdam Open, but then he won his second ATP title at Open 13 in Marseille, France. In the semi-final he defeated former top 10 player Tomas Burdick to reach final. To get the title, he needed to defeat Frenchman Lucas Puy. In the next three months he showed average results. In Dubai he reached the second round, then only the first round of Indian Wells and the third round of the Miami Open. However, he reached the final of the Miami Open in the doubles event, alongside Andre Rubloff, but they lost to Bob and Mike Bryan. Then the clay court season came, but he was still not showing good form. He reached the third rounds of Monte Carlo and the Barcelona Open, but only the first rounds of Madrid and Rome. However, his form peaked on time for the French Open, where he again reached the fourth round, defeating top 20 player Lucas Puy in the third round, before losing to Alexander Zverev. During the grass season, he played only two tournaments. First, he advanced to the quarterfinal of the Halley Open for the second year in a row. Second, he reached the fourth round of Wimbledon, but then lost to Novak Djokovic. In the North American summer hardcourt swing, Kachanov reached the semifinals of a Masters 1000 tournament for the first time in his career at the Canadian Open, losing to Nadal. He again lost to Nadal at the U.S. Open in a marathon third-round match. Kachanov then helped Team Russia to progress through the first-round playoff of the Europe-Africa Zone Group ride by winning both matches and securing Russia a place in the World Group. In Asia, Kachanov struggled to find form. He reached only the second rounds of Beijing and Shanghai. He then rebounded at the Kremlin Cup, winning his second ATP title of the season by defeating Adrian Manorino in the final. In the semi-final he defeated his compatriot Daniil Medvedev. Kachanov finished the year by claiming his first ADP Masters 1000 title at the Rolex Paris Masters, defeating Philip Krajinovic, Matthew Ebden, world number no. 9 John Isner, saving two match points, world number no. 5 Alexander Zverev, world number no. 8 Dominic Thiem and world number no. 1 Novak Djokovic. He was the first tennis player representing Russia to win a Masters 1000 final since Nikolai Davidenko, who won the inaugural 2009 Shanghai Masters.
Number 18 Kachanov was the lowest-ranked player to win a Masters 1000 title since Ivan Jubisic took the 2010 Indian Wells Masters. As a result, Kachanov climbed to world number 11 and was an alternate at the 2018 ADP Finals. He became the fifth Russian tennis player to win a Masters tournament after Murat Safin, Andrei Chesnikov, Yevgeny Kafelnikov and Nikolai Davidenko. 2019 French Open quarterfinal, top 10 despite starting the season as the 11th ranked player in the world. Kachanov struggled to achieve any notable results for the first five months of the season. Leading up to the French Open, Kachanov's record for the year was 10 wins and 12 losses, and he had failed to reach a single tournament semi-final at the French Open. Kachanov won his first three rounds to set up a last 16 encounter with Juan Martín del Potro. Kachanov beat del Potro for the first time to reach his first major quarterfinal, where he lost to Dominic Tame. Kachanov's maiden slam quarterfinal saw him enter the top 10 for the first time as world number 9. In August, Kachanov reached his first tournament semi-final of the year after beating Alexander Zverev in the quarterfinals of the Montreal Masters. In the semi-finals, he was defeated by compatriot Daniil Medvedev. After the Rogers Cup, Kachanov reached the semi-finals of the China Open. He failed to defend his title at the Paris Masters, losing in the second round to Jan Leonard Struff, and dropped out of the top 10. 2020 ATP Cup semifinals, French Open fourth round Kachanov entered the Auckland Open as third seeded, losing the first match against John Milman. He then joined Team Russia, also consisting of Medvedev, Gabishvili, and Kravchik, at the ATP Cup. He beat four out of five players, with Team Russia progressing to the semifinals, where they lost to eventual champion Serbia. At the 2020 U.S. Open, Kachanov beat Janik Sinner, coming back from two sets down, then beat Andrei Kuznetsov, before losing to Alex de Menor in the third round. In Rome, Kachanov lost in the first round to Kaspar Ruud. He came back to form in time for the French Open, where he reached the fourth round for a fourth consecutive year, beating Kamil Madjkrak, Yuri Vesely and Christian Darin, before losing to world number one Novak Djokovic. 2021 Wimbledon quarterfinal Olympic silver medalist at the 2021 Australian Open, Kachanov progressed to the third round for the third year in a row. He reached two semifinals at the lead-up event to the AO at the 2021 Great Ocean Road Open, where he was defeated by eventual champion Janik Sinner, and at the clay warm-up event to the French Open at the 2021 Lion Open, where he was defeated by Cameron Norrie. At the 2021 Wimbledon Championships he reached the fourth round for the second time, 16, this marked the first time three Russian players reached the fourth round at the All England Club since 2006, when Elena Dementieva, Anastasia Moschina and Maria Sharapova made their run, he continued by reaching the quarterfinals for the first time in his career, defeating Sebastian Korda in a tight match that finished in a fifth-set tiebreak, he then lost in another five-set match against Dennis. Shapovalov. At the Tokyo Olympics, Kachanov defeated Yoshihito Nishioka, James Duckworth, Diego Schwartzman, and Hugo Humbert to reach the semifinals. There, he defeated Pablo Carreño Busta in straight sets to guarantee himself at least a silver medal. He lost to Alexander Zverev in the gold medal match. 2022 U.S. Open semifinal and back to top 20 Kachanov started his 2022 season at the Adelaide International 1. Seeded second, he beat third seed, Marin Cilic, in the semifinals to reach his sixth ADP singles final. He lost in the final to top seed Gail Monfils. Seeded third at the Adelaide International 2, he reached the quarterfinals where he was defeated by eventual finalist Arthur Rinderneck. Seeded 28th at the Australian Open. He made it to the third round where he was ousted from the tournament by sixth seed Rafael Nadal. In February, Kachanov competed at the Rotterdam Open. He lost in the second round to sixth seed Cameron Nori. Seeded sixth at the Qatar ExxonMobil Open, he upset fourth seed Marin Cilic in the quarterfinals. He fell in his semifinal match to second seed Roberto Bautista Agut in three sets. In Dubai, he lost in the second round to world number one and five time champion Novak Djokovic, seeded 25th at the Indian Wells Masters. He was defeated in the second round by American Jensen Brooksby, seeded 23rd at the Miami Open. He was 
eliminated in the second round by American Tommy Paul, Kachanov started his clay court season at the Monte Carlo Masters. He lost in the first round to 12th seed Diego Schwartzman, seeded third at the Serbia Open, he reached the semifinals where he was defeated by world number one Novak Djokovic, at the Madrid Open, he was beaten in the first round by Lucas Puy in straight sets. In Rome, he sweeped past Pablo Carreño Busto to reach the third round where he was ousted by eventual finalist Stefanos Tsitsipas in three sets. At the French Open, he defeated Cameron Norrie to reach the fourth round of this tournament for a fifth time, but was outlasted by sixth seed Carlos Alcaraz in straight sets. Kachanov played two tournaments in the grass swing. He reached the quarterfinals of both Libima Open and Halley Open, losing to Felix Augurelia Syme and Oscar Ott respectively. At the Hamburg Open, he lost to Alcaraz again in the quarterfinals. Kachanov started the North American hard court swing at the City Open. He lost to eventual finalist Yoshihito Nishioka in the third round. Following early exits at both Canadian Open and Cincinnati Open, Kachanov reached the fourth round at the U.S. Open defeating Jack Draper after he retired in the third set. He went one step further with a win over Pablo Carreño Busta in a five-sets match lasting over three hours to reach the quarterfinals for the first time at this major. Kachanov defeated Nick Kyrgios in five sets to reach his first career semifinal at a major. He became the first player of Armenian descent to do so, since Andre Agassi reached his first major semifinal at the French Open in 1988, and most recently, David Nalbandian at the French Open in 2006. In the semifinals, Kachanov lost to Kaspar Ruud in four sets. In October, Kachanov reached the quarterfinals of Astana Open, where he lost in straight sets to an eventual champion Novak Djokovic. In receipt of a first round by in Antwerp, he lost to eventual finalist Sebastian Korda in the second round. It was followed by another early exit at the Erste Bank Open to Dan Evans in the second round. 2023, Major and Master Semifinals, first title in five years, back to top 10 Kachanov at the 2023 Monte Carlo Masters ranked number 18 at the 2023 Australian Open he defeated three seeds in a row to reach the semifinals 16th seed Francis Tiafo, 31st seed Yoshihito Nishioka and 29th seed Sebastian Korda in the quarterfinals after retirement. He moved back to the top 15 to number 13 in the rankings on 30 January 2023. At the 2023 Miami Open he reached the quarterfinals with his first top 5 win for the season and first ever win against second seed Stefanos Tsitsipas. It was also his 11th top 10 career overall and first since Canada 2019 where he reached a Masters quarterfinal for the last time. He broke a 23-match losing streak against top 10 players. Next, he defeated 25th seed Francisco Serendolo to reach his first Masters semifinal since 2019. Kachanov began his European clay court campaign at the Monte Carlo Masters where he lost to fellow countryman Andre Rublev in the fourth round. At the next Masters tournament, the 2023 Mutua Madrid Open, he reached the quarterfinals following wins over Tiago Montero, Roberto Bautista Agut, and Andre Rublev before falling to top seed Carlos Alcaraz in straight sets. In doubles, he partnered with Rublev and the pair went on to win the title, their first as a pair. Following a quarterfinal showing at the 2023 French Open he returned to the top 10 in the singles rankings. Kachanov missed 2023 Wimbledon because of a partial stress fracture in his sacrum S1 bone. He returned to the U.S. Open but lost in the first round to Michael Mull. At the next tournament, the 2023 Juhai Championships as the top seed, he recorded his first win since coming back from injury over qualifier Alex Bolt. He reached the final defeating two American sixth seed Mackenzie McDonald and fourth seed Sebastian Korda. In the final, he defeated eight seed Yoshihito Nishioka in straight sets to claim his first title in five years, 2024. Sixth title at the 2024 Australian Open he reached the fourth round but lost to fourth seed and eventual champion. Jan Nick Sinner He won his sixth title at the 2024 Qatar ExxonMobil Open defeating first-time ATP finalist, teenager Jakub Mensik. At the 2024 BNP Paribas Open he lost to qualifier Tiago Sebath Wild having received a buy into the second round. At the 2024 Miami Open he reached the fourth round but lost to fourth seed Alexander Zverev. 
coaching team early in his career, Kachanov was coached by Igor Bitsenko in Moscow and veteran Mardik in Split, Croatia. In 2014 he joined Four Slam Tennis Academy led by Gallo Blanco. Kachanov parted ways with Blanco in November 2017, he has been training for a few years now with his previous coach veteran Mardik. Currently, his other coach is Jose Clavet. Personal life In April 2016, Kachanov married Veronika Shklieva, his childhood sweetheart, whom he had been dating since 2011. Their first child, a son, was born in 2019, their second son was born in 2023. Fellow tennis player Ilya Ivashka is his brother-in-law, as their wives are twin sisters. In March 2022, the Russian state-run RIA Novosti reported that, amid the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, Kachanov had removed the Russian flag from his Instagram page. Support for Armenians during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict during the 2023 Australian Open, Kachanov wrote messages on the television camera lens, traditionally signed by the winner following a match, expressing support for Armenians in the Republic of Artsakh during the blockade of Nagorno-Karabakh. Following this, the Azerbaijan Tennis Federation wrote a letter to the International Tennis Federation, ITF, calling for sanctions against Kachanov. Kachanov later stated he had not been discouraged by the ITF for his messages. In March 2024, Kachanov participated in a charity exhibition match for Artsakh refugees at the Los Angeles Tennis Center with compatriot Andrei Rubloff. The exhibition raised $100,000 and was preceded by a gala attended by Kachanov and Andrei Agassi, who is also of Armenian descent. Endorsements Kachanov has been endorsed by Nike for apparel and shoes, and Wilson for rackets. He has also been sponsored by Lavazza, Armani for luxury apparel, Cadillac Escalade for cars, and Rolex for watches. He was earlier endorsed by Mercedes-Benz and Head for rackets.